All right, Bryce, thank you. Sex with a student, a substitute teacher at Great Oaks, was let out of jail this morning, and Nine on Your Side's cameras were rolling as she left. Police say 23 year old Hannah Heakin admitted to having an ongoing relationship with a 17 year old student. Nine on Your Side, Zach Pitts has been following this story, and Zach, We've learned that this is the third time in this district that a teacher has been accused of having sex with a student. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. And Great Oaks has zero tolerance for that sort of thing. Now, he can, she may be out of jail, but she won't be going back to work. I'll tell you, attorney, the case the judge will talk. 23 year old Hannah Heakin is charged with two counts of felony sexual battery. Police say she was found inside a car with a 17 year old Roger Bacon student Tuesday morning at Ludlow Grove Park. Both admitted to police they were looking for a place to park and have sex. Stated it was consensual, stated they've had a relationship for several months and uh, had gotten together on two previous occasions. Heakin was just recently assigned to Roger Bacon High School as an aide for Home Ec. She's the third Great Oaks teacher arrested for having sex with students. 43 year old Dan Connect and 37 year old Aaron Brown faced similar charges. It challenges us to look at our. Um, processes in communicating with our staff, the ethical um, level they have to maintain. Harry Snyder says Heakin was in line to take over the classroom full time after the current teacher retired. Instead, she was fired Tuesday night and is now an example of a line between teacher and student that should never be crossed. We just met this morning saying what, what can we learn from it? How do we look at this? How do we improve? How do we look at our onboarding? How do we re-emphasize this, especially with a new teacher? And once again, Heakin is free on bond this afternoon. She's been ordered to stay away from that student. Reporting live, Zach Pitts, 9 on your side. Zach, thank you.